It's August and time for another summer stunt by Vladimir Putin. This year, Russia's action man president took a plunge deep beneath the Black Sea. Officially, this ride was to examine an ancient shipwreck. But on the comms up above was Russia's prime minister. In Crimea today, everything is political. Mr Putin surfaced a little later in Sevastopol. Ukraine's president has condemned his visit, insisting that Crimea's future lies with Kiev. But when I put that to Vladimir Putin, he was unequivocal. The future of Crimea was determined by the people who live on this land. They voted to be united with Russia. That's it. Full stop. These Putin fans definitely agree. But they've been living under Western sanctions for over a year now as a consequence. Vladimir Putin's presenting this as just another working visit. But of course, it's so much more than that. This is about showing that Crimea, as far as he's concerned, is part of Russia for good now. And uh, that despite all the sanctions for the past year, he thinks it's going to stay that way. So Moscow's been busy promoting this coast as the patriotic choice for a holiday. Tourism is critical to Crimea's economy, but the beaches here were once filled by Ukrainians. Gradually, Russians have begun to replace them. I want to show you our hostel. Natalia admits it's been a tough year in a territory unrecognized by most of the world. But locals are adjusting to this new reality, she says. The tourists who are here now, where are they from? From Moscow, from St. Petersburg and from Rizan. All Russia? Only, only Russia, from Russia. Absolutely. But Dmitry calls the annexation a catastrophe. He used to sell most of his produce in the EU. Now that market's blocked, he barely makes anything here. So this ethnic Russian is leaving for Kiev, because it's not just his business that he's worried about. I don't even want to imagine how things here will end. But I don't want to be part of it. The fuse has been lit. We just don't know how long it will be before the situation explodes. However much President Putin wants to move on, the Crimea question is far from resolved. His actions have stirred up a storm that's not abating. Sarah Rainsford, BBC News, Crimea.